Hello, my name is Sam Hansen. I'm a graduate research student here at the University of Idaho in the Center for Advanced Energy Studies. Um, this is our pyrolysis reactor. Uh, if you look here, these are uh, devices that control the flow of nitrogen gas, which carries biomass. This is uh, biomass, looks very similar to sawdust. You can see close there. Um, this has been finely sifted so that we can control heat transfer based on the particle size. Um, our biomass is fed into our reactor right here using the auger system. This spins and we can control the feed rate of our biomass in the reactor. This pipe here is our downfall reactor. It has an internal port heater which is a heated rod that goes on the inside of the pipe, like this. It also has electric heating tape on the outside of the pipe, so it's heated from two different zones. Uh, we've designed the system to have a residence time of about two seconds, so when the biomass enters the system, and when it goes into our cyclone here, it's been heated and undergoes pyrolysis in under two seconds which makes it uh, fast pyrolysis. This is a cyclone unit which separates all of the biochar. This black material here looks a lot like charcoal. Um, it separates the charcoal from syngas and bio oil vapors. Bio oil vapors enter this cond condensation unit here which is cooled with a, a chiller and we collect the oil in this vessel. So this one's cool, and then the excess oil collects it here. This is what we collect. This is called bio oil. It's very similar to crude oil, but it has some differences. Um, one of the biggest differences is it has a very high oxygen content, and our future work is aimed at reducing this. Um, the gas that's produced that isn't condensed is vented into a ventilation system here. This is a makeshift fume duct uh, to prevent any fumes from contaminating other samples in the lab. And if you look back this way, uh, one of the biggest contributions that our process is making is optimization uh, via cyber physical control of the entire system. Each of these uh, temperature Heaters is controlled by the by this laptop here. Um, it's kind of difficult to see, but this all of these wires here allow process inputs and outputs to be monitored and controlled. And this is what we would call the HMI or human machine interface which allows us to monitor and record all of the different data points, such as the temperatures, the pressures, the flow rates. And I think that's everything.